guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about EA Play Live. Now, truth be told, I'm not going to talk about the whole thing. I'm just going to talk more about the games I was interested in. Like, for instance, Apex Legends trailer was pretty cool, but I'm not really into Apex Legends. So the first game appeared that I was really interested in was Lost in Random. I saw this before, and it looked pretty cool, basically like a Tim Burton world, and it still looks pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure how the dice factors as much. They did say, like, when you fully charge it, you roll it, you're able to stop time and stuff like that, but there wasn't too much details, I believe, given, at least that I caught, on exactly how the random factors into gameplay and stuff like that. It does seem like you roll the dice, but I think that they really didn't show, like, what does a six do? What does a three do? What does a four roll do? You know? But the game still looks interesting. And then, of course, Battlefield 2042. Now, this game looks really good, and they announced a new mode called Battlefield 2042 Portal. And it's a really cool mode, seems like, where you can make so much random stuff. Like, you can have one tank, apparently, against 20, I think, of those, like, EMP robots or whatever. And you can have, like, 32 versus 4, where the four of them are from a futuristic or modern Battlefield game. And the 32 are from like a much older Battlefield game. Yes, you can combine different eras from different Battlefield games, including like Bad Company 2. So this looks really interesting. Like it looks almost like Halo 3's customization, but without the map editor. Yes, there is no map editor here, but it seems like you can change like what you're doing. Probably even like the rules of victory because they showed like the VIP and stuff like that. So that looks like a really cool mode. No lie. This looks like a mode that could really differentiate battlefield 2042 from like other first person shooters they also showed at the end of this trailer like the tower falling and that makes me think that maybe we're getting those big like map changing events like kind of like how in battlefield 4 i believe it was where like the building would collapse and then the map would become more dusty because the building collapsed and obviously you couldn't use that building anymore so it seems like you may be getting those again where like you can destroy something or something like that and like it changes aspects of the map and then they ended with Dead Space. Now, we only got a CGI trailer, right? But here's the thing. It was announced only for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC. So, guys, we're getting there. What I mean by that is that we're getting to the point where last-gen consoles, they're not going to cut it anymore, it seems like. I mean, because it's, it's different with, like, Ratchet & Clank. That's an actual first-party game for PlayStation 5. But when third-party games start to be like, okay, we're not going to have it on the last-gen consoles anymore, many more third-party games, I believe, follow. But it seems like pretty soon, even with third-party, most games will only be launching for current-gen consoles. In any case, the A play was okay, the host did a good job, and it wasn't too long. Like, they had some parts where it seemed a little bit dragged, but it wasn't too long overall. But what do you guys think about it? And which games were you guys most excited to see? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.